everyone, it's Charlotte here and I'm going to talk to you today really fast. Hi guys! Hi! Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and today I'm going to talk about my Iwako rubber collection. Iwako eraser. I must remember eraser! Wait, is it Iwako? Iwako? Iwaka. Iwaka. No idea. Whatever, they're cool. Um, I keep them inside this rather delicious watermelon. Oh, it's good enough to eat. Oh, doesn't smell good enough to eat though. Ugh. Inside are where my little creatures live. So if you want to look inside, as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. Now, I have looked at a lot of people's collections on YouTube and just on the internet and stuff. And I must say, this is a baby collection. I've only just really started in the last couple of months. And yeah, it's probably actually a fetus on the scale of some people's collections. So yeah, hi everyone, it's Charlotte with her fetus collection. <laughs> um, I've got a quite a few animals and I've recently branched out and I've started to collect food and um, some stationary items. They were on sale actually because I was originally just going to collect animals and then this has just kind of got completely out of control. So um, let's have a look what's inside. Let's move over to focusing down because you won't be able to see them if I hold them up. As you can see inside it's pretty full up. I'm going to start off with food because I haven't really got that many um, food items. So we've got a nice little ice cream here and I've got two macaroons so far, green and pink, but I want to collect some more. Stay. And oh yeah, and a nice ice cream sundae. So that's the food that I've got so far, as you can see, not very many, but that's because I've only just started collecting the food ones. So I'll move you guys over to the side there. Um, we'll do stationery next. So, got a nice little backpack and it actually opens as well, so you can pull up the thing. I've got a stapler and a sellotape dispenser, which is pretty cool. And my favourite is scissors, which actually work. Snip, snip. Well, I say work. Oops. Obviously, they don't cut paper, but, you know, the fact that they move is pretty cool. I'll move you guys over there. Right. To split the animals, as you can see, there's quite a few of them. So we'll do farm animals first. So I've got a nice pink little piggy here. Isn't he very cute? And I couldn't resist getting him a little friend, so I got a purple one as well. And I've got a cow. Moo. Yes, I did just make my cow rubber moo. I promise you, I'm not completely insane. And I suppose a rabbit could live on a farm. Although the rabbits, they come in cloves. I'm not entirely sure why, because obviously you can get all the other animals without cloves on, but these ones apparently do. There is a girl one as well. But I haven't seen her in the shops yet, so when I do, he will have a girlfriend. Until that day comes, he is just going to have to be happy living the single man's life. So I'll put you over there. Whoops. Stand up, piggy. Hopefully you haven't been drinking too much. And I'm just going to make the cow lay on top of them, because that's what apparently cows do. Right, let's go under the sea next. Under the sea. We've got a nice fish. Another kind of fish. I think it's a fish. Looks like a fish. I'm not entirely sure. I just like little spots on its back. A shark, which is actually smaller than the fish. Don't ask. I didn't. And, oh, and a seal. Now. If we move you guys over here, we can do, oh no, the guinea pig. I suppose the guinea pig, is it a guinea pig or is it a hamster? No, it's a hamster. The um, pink hamster, I suppose, is a domestic animal, which I guess the rabbit could be as well. Domesticated so much that he's wearing dungarees. So yeah, actually, I might put the rabbit with him or her. 
him, her, doesn't really matter I suppose. You guys can go over there. Maybe they can get married instead. And then we've got more exotic animals I suppose. So we've got a nice little rhino here. We've got a pink kangaroo. And what I like about the kangaroo is the baby actually comes out, so the little joey. Squidge, oh! And I don't know if you can see any detail on there. But um, yeah, the joey comes out. Got a koala, going with the Australian theme there. A nice little polar bear. A panda. Hippo. Well, the hippo is one of my new ones, actually. They had um, lots of them in Paper Chase, which is where I get most of the rubbers from. And they've had the same ones for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I came in Friday, I think it was, and I had new ones, so I had to grab the purple hippo. I thought it was really cool. Got a nice little monkey. The lion. I actually got the lion off of eBay with the rhino. They came together and that was quite a good deal. So you can get them online as well, which sometimes works out cheaper because you can buy them in groups and stuff. And lastly, I've got the very wise and all-knowing, never forgetting, elephant. So that was my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're feeling really super generous, maybe subscribe. And you can check out our blog and follow us in our other endeavours. See you later. Alligator. Oh, that's one I need, an alligator.